Hello and welcome to another update video about NetGas as we're heading into the new trading week. Um, I can maintain my wave count um, unchanged. Uh, we seem to be still in this wave 5 of wave 3 of circle wave 3. So NetGas has not yet confirmed a low in place for us. And the wave count doesn't need to change. I'm still watching for another 4-5 pattern to complete this decline. I think we're close to a long-term low, but not there yet, as I mentioned in the last updates. So it's still in free fall. Um, and uh, it's quite, yes, it's crazy. And also the um, the RSI is basically now oversold, so or close to oversold. So we're going to take a look at that uh, in a minute. But yeah, this could be the last low of a long-term, medium-term, long-term um, downtrend. Obviously, the last larger fourth wave topped here early in January and since then it's basically been in free fall and the wave count suggests that we could be close to the end of this third wave uh, sorry the fifth wave of a third and I have adjusted slightly the resistance area for circle wave four before circle wave five is uh, ideally starting resistance based on where we are now, is between $1.96 and $2.17, which means in simple terms that above $2.17 or $2.18, I should rather say, um, if we get a sustained break above that level, then probably the micro count at least needs to change. Um, I think we're now at a point where I'd say, okay, I would certainly take it seriously that a lasting low could be in if we now rally, but it would take additional evidence and especially a break above the $2.00 um, yeah, $2.80 level would be needed in, in the right structure. So it's a little bit too early to really confirm a low, even if we rally and break above initial resistance. But that would be, I would not really con confirm a low in place before or even consider a lasting low in place. It takes a break of resistance minimally, but even with that break above resistance, this here could still turn into something different. Um, even though now it's declining in a way, you know, as we were here somewhere, I could have said, okay, maybe it's just a flat structure, you know, or it's forming a triangle, but it's coming down quite a bit. So, yeah, you know, I'm I'm of the view we are in this fifth wave down, obviously, not in the four anymore. And therefore, yeah, I think, you know, a, a break above initial resistance would at least be an initial indication that a low could already be in. At least it would indicate that something more bullish is going on than the micro count here would suggest. So let's take a look at the micro micro or nano count. Um, this obviously is highly unreliable. These wave counts, they are very fragile and change often. And also it doesn't really give us a lot of predictive value. However, the idea is that within the microstructure here, within this wave five, um, we started, or basically the wave 5 started here with this wave 4 triangle completion on the 6th of February. And the idea would be if we really label the micro count here, um, it probably would be best as an impulse down. So wave 1, wave 2, this is another one, 2, 3, 4, 5. Could be that we're doing this and let me change the wave degree. So this would be really the, the micro perspective. I've run out of wave degrees, so I am not labeling this, but this move down that started on the 7th of February at around $2.05. Here, this looks like a five wave move itself. One, two, three, four, five. Basically an extended yeah, third wave in five of three. And it could get another micro 4.5 pattern to complete this decline. So might target, yeah, indeed this $1.71 level, at least in the in that neighborhood of 171 might complete that decline. Um, again, this is obviously now really the micro perspective. Please bear in mind, these counts are very fragile, but it could tell us when, um, that's the main purpose of doing this, when really a low is in locally, in circle wave three and i would use also again the 50 percent retracement level for that so for this wave four if it happens from here somewhere the resistance is between 1.84 and 1.91 
and it takes a break above it to suggest that circle wave 3 finished. Then we can watch this trend line. If that breaks, we're likely in circle wave 4 and then we can watch for a reaction um, to start possibly wave 5. So at least it gives us some parameters to watch for this week. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, then please check out the stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.